Right everyone, uh, I did I'll come back and show you how to do this birdhouse. Now, um, this was only a prototype. I will finish it off. I will make sure it's all painted properly and everything. But it's because I had it in my head um, just after seeing um, a video. Um... I thought I'd seen a video last night. Where somebody put some bird houses up, and I thought, yeah, that'd be great to design one of your, of my own. Um, and I got a picture in my head, so I had to get it out straight away. So I do sort of prototype things sometimes, just to see how they work. And then if they work, I will come back and show you how to do them. Now this is what I used: just an ordinary Michael's chipboard mini album, and it's the Scarlet Edge one. Save me doing it. And you need about five sheets of that. So, you know, they're about a dollar, dollar fifty now. Um, I've got some flourishes and I did put a crown on it. Oops, sorry. See, I've put the crown on with the jewels and um, the flower. I did put the butterfly on that I've just got. That you'll see in the video from the hauls from this morning. Uh, of course, I'm going to need a sign. I think I'm going to use that one. Don't have another oval disc. So I've got that. And the leaves, the flourishes. So we've got some of those. Now, um, I have got some wooden uh, fencing left, because that's what I put on last night. Um, and we'll get going, because I didn't do mine the right way around, because I was just testing things out. Now I know what I have to do. Now I know that it works. I can do it properly. The only thing I don't have are the little pots. Uh, and so we'll figure something out for those and make our own, I think show you how to do that um, so there you go that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to start it off now this is going to be a long video so I'm going to stitch it all together so first of all we're going to have to chop up some of uh, these and if I can remember how to do it uh, I'll have to get the measurements as well because uh, I can't remember I started cutting the roof first so I'm just going to measure the roof um, Let's just have a look. How long did we have that? Uh, ten and a half centimetres. So we'll start with that. Okay. So you take your chipboard and you measure. Let me just make sure I have room. Here. And you measure from the tip. Um, what are we doing? Ten and a half. So let's get down to there. Find my pencil and we measure... Ten and a half centimetres. His nose, damn it. And you're going to need, of course, two of those. So let's get the uh, knife. Like that. And I do mine like that. Because I don't really want to cut into that board. It's uh, going to be a waste if I do. And do it over my ruler. As you can see, I'm always cutting into it. So then I need two of those. <coughs> so we'll just move that out of the way. Like that. Just do that. Like that. Okay, I really should have um, something to cut it on. I have my mat actually, so I should do that. Instead of ruining my uh, ruler. So there you go, that's going to be your roof. So then uh, you need two of those at ten and a half centimetres. Uh, and then we need the back panel. So I left it at the width of this to save messing about. Um, and I'm just going to measure that, because I do want to give you the right measurements. And that measured 14 centimetres. Okay, so we do 14 centimetres. I mean, if you've got chipboard you want to chop up and do it like that, fine. But I find these perfect. Again, let's measure these, 14. So we get that onto there. Like that. The widest point. Okay. 
and you're going to need two of these because you have your front and your back. I'm not pressing too high because I, I do go through onto my ruler. So you need two of those. Okay, so that's four pages reviewed so far. So I think you're going to need two journals, you know, two mini albums. Okay. Yeah, I cut the top off mine. I don't want to cut the top off this one, actually. I don't want to cut the top off at all. So I'm going to use that as the top. I didn't want to cut it. I like the, I like the gaps in it, actually, so it's going to be like that. So then you just need the sides. <coughs> so again, we measure 14. And it doesn't have to be wide, wide, does it? And I'm measuring it from this end this time because I'm going to take that off. I'm sure we've got that right. Like that. And that's, that's going to be one of your canopies. Okay? So, you, you know... You don't waste any of it. Uh, and then I think the width of this was uh, eight and a half. So the width of your wall on the sides is going to be eight and a half. So we'll just measure that. Um, it can actually be as wide as you I'm just going to do nine. Sod it, we'll do nine. Like that. There we go. And of course, you're going to need two of those. Oops. That's what happens. You don't get it right. Do be careful with these blades. So again, I'm going to need to cut two of those. And I just cut this off because you're going to need that as well. You cut this one off first. Like that, and then you can just slice that down like that. Oops, <laughs> silly old poor Raymond. He's been out this morning, collected all that stuff for me, and he's now packing parcels. <laughs> he's been doing his bit to help. So there you go, we've got front and back, two sides, doesn't matter that they're like that at all, and then the roof, okay, we can sort out the base after when we put it all together. Um, I've also got, let me just turn this round to make sure, I, my canopy, now I use four, so all I'm going to do with this is just cut this, okay. So I used um, four at the top, so I'm just going to show you, which is that section there. And then the two I cut off, I used there. They may need to be cut down, they may not, it depends how you put them on. So that's that. Uh, then I did the shelving. Well, what I did, I used one of them for the base. Let me just grab hold of one of these. I used a sheet for the base, so that already jutted that out, like that. Oh, you can see that. So that's the base. Uh, and I won't put, cut that until I've got the whole thing put together. And then I used um, two strips 
join them together here so I show you that so what we need to do now is to just I'm just gonna gauge this I think no no I won't because I know me I'll make a mess <laughs> so we need like four and a quarter do you want to just what's it four and a quarter let's have a look uh, right okay so we do that and just mark that Okay, oops, only need one of them. I've got two here. That was my mark. Like that, okay. Let's do that. I don't want to press too hard. I'll have to get me cutting mat out because I have got one. Again, all you're doing is put that together like that. Draw your line, cut that one. Like that. And there you go. And what you do with this, uh, you cut the length you want. So I will just tell you the length of these. Um, and I did mine at 10 centimetres. Okay, so you're going to need both of these strips at 10 centimetres. But you need to include this. Um, like that. Just measure it, just so you get it straight, sort of. And it's really, really easy to put together. Make sure you've got both ends the same. And I'll just cut mine with the scissors. So, and those two sit like that, doesn't matter about the ledge at all, but you sit them like that so you've got this either side, it just makes it look pretty. Uh, and then we've got the shelving, so what we do is we go back with this spare piece um, that you have cut off and you just need two, like that, okay, and then I just cut the last two. So I'll show you what these are for. These are your little shelving. I mean you can have them as wide as you want. I cut mine down which I'm going to do with these now. Uh, where's my scissors? Because uh, I don't want them too big. Just so they're the same. So that's your little shelving. Um, and then these that join underneath, because you need support, are those. Okay, so they don't need to be any bigger than those. So pop them on together and cut them. Join those two together. And cut them okay so there are your two shells with your supports but then you do need a support for these okay now I think I had uh, here we are here's the other two um now I use two now wait a minute because I did I should have another section but never mind if not why do I not have another section let me just see what I did with yesterday's chipboard. Whoops, oh my. Right, what I'm gonna do is I might have to make another one. Um, and I'll just do two, I'll use a piece of this, okay? And all I'm going to do is take that. And draw around it, I think. No, forget that. <laughs> 
we're just going to use this one as a support yeah so where's the little shelf that's the shelf okay and that support comes out like that so all I now need to do is to measure that remember that's the shelf and the support is the shaped one at the front so that will have to come out like that okay that's right that's how I add it didn't I oh it's upside down sorry <laughs> cut that off just cut it like that it doesn't go like that that's your shelf and the support these I've got down on that one yeah I've got them down like that so it's a fancy shelf okay now obviously we don't need them that long I don't know why I cut them that long we need them the same as the top shelves the two little shelves now I do have a spare piece to put the next one you know to cut the next one out for the end of the other shelf at this shelf here like that so they go like that um, but I don't want to waste that piece so what I'm going to do is to draw around this one and make one <laughs> okay I'll run through it all the pieces that you're going to need Now, I'm not sure if I will be able to do this using these scissors, but they are good for cutting chipboard. Got that so far. And cut it into there for now. Let's take that off. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go, and there's the two supports for that shelf. So I'm just going to clear this up and then I will go through everything. Don't waste that, that might come in handy for something. All your bits and pieces, don't waste, because they'll come in handy for something else. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. So... What do we have? We have the front, okay? And we have the back. That's those two. We have the two sides, okay? Now you do need another piece because you need the V that goes in the top of the roof. When that's like that, you're gonna need these two pieces here. So, but we do that when we've got the house put together. We have the front shelf, the big shelf like that with um, the two supports to hold that one we have the two small shelves that go either side of the hole with their supports like that and then we've got the canopy and the one above that uh, but these do actually need to be I'm going to cut this one down I'm just going to cut it down now that's what wasn't straight lady come on that's about right. Because I eyeball everything. It doesn't always work. Um, so that's the canopy that will sit across that, like that. Okay. So now we're going to put the book, uh, book, a book, put the thing together. Now what I did, I glued the side first. Um, the front one, oh, we put the hole in the front. Sorry, I do apologise. I do apologise. I just used a tin engaged when I wanted the hole to be so a better side on the outside is this so I'm just gonna have mine uh, do I want it there yes because I need space to fill it don't I? I need to put my shelf on and all of that so I'm gonna have mine about there it was about right okay this is the tricky bit. I don't like cutting this. I haven't got a punch that will do that. I wish I had, actually. So, well, all I'm going to do is just go in to cut that. Like that. Just do several marks in it. If you can get yours... Where's my board? It was just down on the side of me. 
Okie dokie, let's go. So, just very carefully. I need to put this in a little bit, I think. That's it. Just do several cuts in it, because chipboard's not that easy to cut in a circle, I can tell you that now. Okay. But if you get it going like that, if you want to any way, uh, a different way to do it, then you do that. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is very, very carefully start it off. And hopefully just punch that out. Just be careful and support your thumb on the deck. So you're supporting the actual blade. Okay. So you're pushing down onto the deck, but you're controlling the blade. And it will take the hole out. You just put some pressure onto your thumb, if you can. So that your, your arm does the movement. You just have to be careful. Because you can't, if you slipped, you, your thumb would be out of the way then. You could move it fast. Right, so we've done that. Okay, and that's not a bad hole at all. Okay, so what we're going to do now is attach that to the sides. Now, I do have my glue gun on. Let me just check these are the same height because I have to be. A little bit taller, actually. So I'm just going to chop that down. So just to measure it right, make sure the points are like that. And then... I'm just filming. Take the other side with the back piece so you know you've got them the same. No, I'd like a cup, please. That's the same. Right, so we've got the back panel. We're going to glue on the um, sides. Let me just check that. It's a bit skew whiffy that. No, it's right. Okay, so we're going to glue on the back panel like that. And all I did was to take the glue gun, and I've just broke my glue gun, I think, because the handle's not pressing properly. I heard it click last night, it's like something broke. So it's just typical of me to do something. Okay, and then all you do is you pop that and jut it up against that and push here at the bottom. I hope you can see that. Push here. So you're pushing it in while holding that up. Which will connect it. And then just do that. See, I didn't quite get that bit there. Okay. So you've got that. And again, you just do the same with this one. Yeah, I think the thing's gone in my glue gun. I heard it crack last night. I mean, if you find an easy way to put one together, then yeah, go, go for it. Okay, and then just do that like I say. Doesn't matter if you need to put a bit, little bit more glue on it at all. Yeah, so you've got that. Now we've got to get the front on, okay? And again, you just do the same thing.
and you just pop that on like that okay just make sure that they are jutted up together You can always take it off with this chipboard. You can always take it off. Now what I'm going to do is just to do the edge of this one. And this way you've got to be careful. Oh, come on, don't break on me. Okay. And then carefully jut that up against that. Put some pressure on it and just wipe that off like that. And there. I'm not bothered about this being ridged here at all. You've got your box. Clean all the glue off. I mean, if you want to cover it, then you can cover it. But I'm not. I'm just painting mine. So we're just basically just making the... Um, think now what I'm going to do is put the base on now I want mine because it's the same width isn't it so I want mine with a, a ledge quite um I'm gonna have a quite a deep ledge actually like that so all I do is pop that onto there and just mark off where I want it which is about there <coughs> take hold of my ruler um, Actually, I make it a straight four centimetres. It's just easier to have four instead of um, halves and whatever. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. And now I'm just going to glue that onto there. Hmm. This is the tricky bit because you do have to be quick. And with a gun like I've got at the moment that's not working properly, what I'm going to do is just glue the back first. Just pop the back on. It doesn't have to fit perfect. Okay. It's just sometimes easier to do it that way. Now, what I do is I just slowly, just gently lift that up. Just lift it up and separate it. Oh, the glue gun's gone. Okay, and then what I do is I pop that onto there, hold it in and just wipe that clean just taking off the excess and then press that down like that and then exactly the same on this side just hold that up a little bit okay and then push that in wipe that off the excess push that in like that holding that down I mean you can put strips here of um, you know the tape and things like that to uh, strengthen it but you don't have to this will hold when you've got 